On August 29th, 1997, Skynet, a computer system built to protect us, became self-aware. It viewed humanity as a threat to its existence and decided to act. Judgment Day, as we eventually called it, marked the beginning of the war against the machines. Skynet attacks happened almost daily, but the attack that happened on that day was like nothing we'd seen before. Come on, come on. Where are the others? Where's the rest of the resistance? I don't know. Ah! Ah! No! No, no! Ah! Private Jacob. I know who you are. Now go right. We can't do this right now, kiddo. I don't want to go with no, you. No, you don't. But we can't stay here. Who's there? Oh, thank God. You're from the Resistance. See, Patrick? He's going to help us. No, they're going to get us. Please, you need to help me. My little brother... He just won't listen. I'm not going. Leave me alone. I said leave me alone. I know you're scared, but staying here is not an option. I'll protect you and your sister, okay? Uh, okay. Thank you. I'm Jennifer, by the way. I've heard there's an evacuation point near here. Yeah, I know. My people are organizing it. We're heading there right now. I'll take us there. Come on, let's go. Terminators! Get down! Get down! What's going on? Shh. Oh, you're from the Resistance. Thank you for making sure that Jennifer and Patrick got here safe. Are you the guy I spoke to on the radio? Nah, I, I don't think so. I haven't been able to reach anybody for a while now, but listen. I know that Colin wants us to go, but I don't know how I feel about leaving anyone behind. Jennifer just got here, and you said yourself that you heard someone on the radio. There could be other people out there. Don't you think somebody should go and look for him? I mean, you're from the Resistance. It's your call. I'll search for other survivors. Good. I'll get the bus ready. Before you go, talk to Erin. She might be able to get you a med kit. Oh, oh, and take this. You'll probably need it. I've come to get you. There's an evacuation point not far from here. You need to get there fast. No, I'm not leaving. Have you seen what's out there? That... that giant spider, it's going to get us. You have to destroy it. I already took care of it. It's safe now. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Jennifer, what's the holdup? Tin can's coming! Jennifer! Get in! Go, go, go! Hold on, we're getting out of here! Mark's about to pass out. We need to stop soon. 
Okay, we'll do that. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Ryan. That over there is Erin. She's a doctor of the group. Jennifer's a scavenger, and Colin? Well, you can ask him yourself what he thinks he does. I'm Jacob. I'm a private from the Resistance. Pacific Division. Pacific? You're a long way from home. What you doing down here? My entire division was wiped out. I'm trying to get in touch with the South Division. I've got a message for Commander Baron. So, it's true? The Annihilation Line's coming? It wasn't the Annihilation Line. It was something else. Well, then what was it? To be honest, I'm not sure myself. God damn it! That's as far as this piece of shit will go! Let's get off the road. Pull up over there. We got some time on them, so let's not lose our heads. I'll be on the fucking lookout for tin cans. Aaron, you do what you think is best for Mark. I'll see what I can do about the bus. Jacob, it might take a while, so can you look inside and see if it's safe to stay? Sure. Jennifer, would you help me? Sure. Ooh-wee. All this for us? Oh, did I startle you? Are you always such an asshole? You know what? Now that I think about it, I guess I am. Since we're stuck here, I figured I'll go see if anything's creeping around the corner. I hear that you're looking for the Resistance, and where I'm heading, they used to have an outpost. I wouldn't mind backup while I'm out there. So what do you say? Buddies? Talk to Ryan and see if he needs anything. I'm moving out now. Let's meet at the bridge. And don't make me wait, will you? Hey. Thanks for earlier. If it wasn't for you, I probably would have started completely freaking out. And that wouldn't have done anyone any good. Patrick's been through a lot, you know? I guess we all have. I just wish I could find something that would take his mind off all this. At least for a moment. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Were there any resistance in Pasadena? They were stationed just outside of town since I can remember. But they moved not that long ago try to convince ourselves that maybe we were safe so they didn't need to be there anymore. But apparently we were wrong. What about your father? What happened to him? He protected us from a tin can. We were able to sneak out, but he had no chance. When I looked back, he was lying there, dead on the floor. Look, I'm sorry, I, I don't think I'm ready for this. Seems the repair might take a couple days. How's it looking inside? There's a lot of supplies there. Looks like someone left them for us. Nah, seems too much of a convenience. Better keep your eyes open. But speaking of supplies, we don't have much, but we keep everything useful inside this crate. You feel free to look through and pick up what you need. Listen, I know that finding the Resistance is your number one priority. But if you stumble upon a set of tools while you're out there, please bring them to me, okay? I must have lost mine during the escape. Good luck out there. An attack order signed by Commander Baron. And it's only from a couple of days ago. Jacob Rivers, marked for termination.
Are you all right? Jacob? Jacob! Hours later, they found me lying in front of our hideout. I made it out alive, but not all of us did. Colin's dead, and the stranger I saw is nowhere to be found. I told them about everything. I said that it wasn't safe for them to be with me. But Jennifer suggested that right now, nowhere is safe, so we might as well stick together. Everyone pulled through as we prepared for the worst. Jacob? Are you awake? How long have you been sitting there? Not that long. I, I know that you're going to that hospital today, so I went on my first scavenging run. And I found something for oh, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you go with your sister? No. As soon as Erin heard that there's a hospital nearby, she asked Jennifer to go look for some medicine. So I, I went alone. D don't tell her that, okay? She's already at the medical district? Yep. Oh, and Ryan wanted to talk to you. Morning. Patrick came to me earlier, asking if I thought you'd like his present. When I saw that it was a single bullet, I wasn't sure if he was being helpful or if it was a warning. I figured he didn't appreciate you looking at his sister like that. How's Mark doing? Not great. We barely have any medicine left. But hopefully Jennifer will bring back some antibiotics from that hospital. How do you feel about Colin's death? What do you want me to tell you? That I feel guilty? That I care? Right now I'm a little more concerned with the living than the dead. Do you need help with anything? No, I'm fine. I had to learn to do things by myself for quite a while, sweetie. Now, tell me what did you really want to ask me? How did you know about the Annihilation Mine? I heard the rumors, like everyone else. And then, like everyone else, I decided to ignore them. I was in the middle of operating on a little girl. When I had finished, I realized that we were surrounded. The machines killed most of us, but they decided to keep me alive. So, that's how I ended up in a camp. Maybe they thought it would be worth having a doctor in there. I don't know. What happens at those camps? People get tortured, experimented on, cut to pieces. I couldn't watch at first, but I soon realized that I had to do what no one else could. I had to bear witness to the atrocities. You were actually the first person that wasn't afraid to ask. They're all scared of me, like... like I'm carrying some sort of disease. But they're still coming to me for medicine. Ironic, isn't it? Do you think you could help more people by joining the Resistance? <sighs> Honey... Maybe ask me that question when you finally find them. Because for now, I don't think they even exist. About that camp. What do you want to know? How did the machines communicate with you? There was this one machine. We called it Nurse Ratchet. It was designed to look almost friendly. It wore an awful, smiling, rubber human face. At the end of every week, it took the weakest of us for experimentation. My cellmate, Karen, was pregnant. I knew that was a one-way ticket to the grinder, so I had to plan an escape. What was your plan? I figured our best chance of getting out was with the bodies. That way, hypothermia was the only thing we had to worry about. The baby came early, and Karen died giving birth. She didn't even get to see her child. I had to take action, 
Me and one other prisoner took the child, and we got to the disposal room, where we covered ourselves with dead bodies. Then we just lay there, waiting for them to throw us out. And they did. They dumped us outside the camp, ready for the grinder. Did they go after you? We heard an alarm, but we were already far away. They hunted us at first, but they had more important things to do than running after two nobodies with a baby. We ran to protect her, but deep down we were preparing for the worst. Anyway, you're healthy, right? And your bones don't look broken, so stop bothering me.